Okay, how's it going guys? Connor just here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Empyrean Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we uh, got to this town, explored a bit, and uh, the reason I'm in front of this house is actually because I went through the town again to see if I missed anything, because I don't didn't know if we were going to have to get the nails somewhere else, or if there's somewhere in this town I missed. And apparently I didn't go inside this red house, because if you just walk in, you talk to this guy, he says he stole some nails and you want them. If you press yes, uh, he calls you a loser and says a thousand for each. We have the option to say no, yes, or beat the shit out of him. So I'm going to beat the shit out of him. Let's go and do that. Uh, you going to give me the nails for free? Hey, stop. I'm not joking around. Uh, why am I going a different direction? Get away from me. <laughs> I went a completely different direction. I think I was probably supposed to be standing in front of him or something. All right, let's fight this kid. Let's fuck him up. You don't charge me a thousand dollars for nails you stole, you little shit. Oh, they give me those goddamn nails for free. What the hell is this kid talking about? Pay a thousand dollars for two nails. The hell? A oh, polywag. That's not good. Hawkeye, come out. Show this kid what you can do. Give him your leafage. Oh, using bubble. That's not nice. Why would you do that? I didn't do anything to you. Except to kill you. That's it. Bitch. It's not fair. Okay, okay, just leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah, who's the man now? Try to charge me a thousand for two nails. The hell's your problem? Alright. So uh, now that we got the nails, I'm gonna check the rent the rest of this house. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Like clicking on shit, that's how I do. Okay, so there's nothing else, so let's go give the guys nails, see if we can get a hammer in return. If so, we can smash those two pots we see. There's one there, and there's one somewhere. Uh, I think it was at the old man's house on the previous route. So we'll go smash those two pots if he gives us a hammer. He said he had a lot of hammers, so if he can give us a hammer for these nails, that'd be great. Oh, are those three nails I see? Oh, oi, kid. I'm gonna give you something for giving me these nails. It's a hammer. I have one too many. Is it just one use hammer? Oh, it's a key item. Okay, sweet. So let's check out this hammer. So we can smash pots with this hammer. I know that for sure. Used to crack pots, among other things. Interesting. So I'm guessing it's not like a one use thing where you just use it on one pot. I'm guessing we can use it as much as we want. So let's go smash this pot over here. Hey, the guy's gone too. Okay. Yes. Hey, I found an orange berry. Nice. All right, let's go back to the previous route. I wonder if we could smash the rocks, too, like those cracked rocks. I wonder if we could smash those, too. Like this guy right here. Like, is this guy not here anymore? <sighs> okay, I looked through our bag. We have two repels. I'm going to go ahead and use one. I'm hoping we can buy repels sometime soon. Cause I'm, so I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these, at least, because I want to see... Is this guy gone? No, he's still there. Okay. I didn't know if we can crack those rocks. I'm not going to go all the way back to the star town to find out, but at least crack that. And we'll take a paralyzed heal. I think that's the only pot, those only two pots that we've seen so far we can crack. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back. And now, let's go and take on the training center so we can get some extra XP. And then we'll take on the gym. It's a rock normal. So Buddy's going to be our main option. Hopefully we can get him to learn a ground type attack. If you fight four trainers in total, you'll be able to enter at two, at most two Pokemon up to level 14. Simple? No. Okay. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon Tournament are Arena, where the Pokemon trainers battle. Your Pokemon will gain experience just as normal when you're fighting in a tournament. That must be great. If you want to compete in a tournament, just come talk to me. Okay. No none? Okay, so we have to enter the normal 4214. Entry fee? I ain't paying your in- I have to pay an entry fee? I better get a fucking cash prize. Alright, so the two Pokemon we're gonna- want to train up his buddy. I don't know if we want to train up Haka. He's going to be weak to rock, but if we could just one-shot everything with Leafage anyway. You know what? No, let's go with Snot. 
Snot is ground, so he should be able to stand up to uh, rock types. Let's go with Snot. No, let's not go with Snot. That oh, might. Okay. Because I want to win this too. I don't want to lose my Mons. So let's just go with our strongest Mons. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh boy. So we have to battle four trainers with two Pokemon. Halo. Alright, that's not a problem. Actually, I should just double kick since it's neutral anyways. It's normal flying. Let's go and double kick. That's not good. Please kill it with double kick. Okay. Even, even at this point, a crit won't kill us. Okay, didn't get the crit anyways. Good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Here's a sand true. Not a problem. You can take a Sancher. Not if it does five damage off a scratch. Let's go to Hawkeye and just leap fidget. Make things easier on ourselves here. Let's not try to complicate things. Hey, quick claw. There we go. But again to nine, still hasn't learned a ground type attack. Impossible. Next. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Okay. No words, just right to the battle. Psychic. Why the hell does a psychic have a Talo? Hello? You're a psychic and you have a Talo? Don't tell me they're all gonna have the same mons. The last guy had a Talo and a Sanchu. Are you gonna have a Talo and a Sanchu too? Don't tell me. Oh my god, they are. This is actually perfect. If we can level up Buddy and Hawkeye, they all, they're all going to have Talo and Sandshrew. We can just level these two up. They can each handle one of these mons. It's fine. Take them out with one more leafage. This is actually okay. I'm actually okay with this. Nice. <laughs> Defeated. Next. Are you going to have a Sancher and a Talo too? Why give them all the same Pokemon? No, okay. It's different this time. Oh, well, you're level 11. E. But you're also an electric type, so that's good for Buddy here. And the electric move. That does no damage. Why did that do no damage? Poor Claw. And why'd you get a crit? This is a problem. That did no damage. Sort of a problem. As long as he doesn't crit, it'll do 7 damage. Let's leer again. Now let's see how much double kick does. A little more. Two more double kicks should get get the job done. I should probably I should be using these Afro plum berries. They I can get the seeds from them. Whenever we find another soil, we can plant them. This one's level eleven, dude. Jesus. Okay, I feel like we if we get critted, that'd be bad at this point right here. So let's go ahead and use one of these Pokazar potions. Because at minimum, it gets us 15. So that's all we need. We don't need to waste a potion. Uh, yeah, see, I only got critted 10. I had a feeling a crit might be coming. Take him out. Nice. Okay, we're good. We're good. 300 XP. God damn. Oh, there we go. We learned Mud Shot. Let's fucking go. That's what we needed. We needed the mud shot. And you have a bee drill. Eek. You know, we're fine because we have mud shot. Okay, don't tell me. That is four? No. No. Oh, thank God. I missed. This thing knows fury drill. It does four a hit, so 20 at most, unless it crits. Dude, that's fucking bullshit. Two, three, 
Can you not? Four. You got a crit. I literally just healed. Can you not hit me with these freaking fury, fury attacks, dude? Well, we didn't miss our fucking mud shot. One, two. Can you, dude? He's hit three times. Four, four. If it was me, I'd hit like three, two, three, two, three, two. I'm out. Of, okay, I only have our seeds left. Let's potion up, buddy. Can you miss? I think Fury Attack has like, what, 85 accuracy and he's hitting all of them? That's fair. Okay, there's a two hit, but... Okay, I feel like we should be good. One, two, three. Okay. Hit the mud shot, please. Thank you. That did no damage. It's stab. It's a fucking bee drill. A stab mud shot did no damage. Can you miss? I know Fury Attack does not have 100 accuracy, and he's hit every single one. It's pissing me off, dude. What the fuck are we gonna do? What is but what is Buddy's fucking special? Is this special trash? It's not even trash. It's 17. Hawkeye's special defense is 18. He has better no physical defense. 14. So he has better physical defense. So do you want to try sending in Hawkeye? We can peck. That's actually super effective. Now I think about it. And I think he has more HP overall. He has three a hit. All right, this is much better actually. Let's peck. One, two. Okay. Okay. One more. As long as we live a fury attack from this point, we should be fine. One, two, three. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. It was a problem for a second there, but we're fine. It's good. Both got some lovely XP. You're trying to learn Astonish? Why not? Get rid of... We don't really need Tackle. It's not really useful to us. Alright, one more. Is he gonna... What the fuck? What... Why are you swimming in the ground? What the hell kind of shit is this? Okay, so I have a Minun. Mine, I'm guessing, um, if I had a guess, I'd guess Minun and Butterfree. Since the other one had Plusle and, uh, had Plusle and Beedrill, so I'm guessing this one. Oh, I should have used Mudshot, what am I doing? And he dropped my attack. Mudshot's super effective stab. Always miss. It's always me that misses. You can see that Beedrill missing a hundred times like I do. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, 13 for Buddy. You have a Murkrow. Oh. I see. A level 11 Murkrow. I was not expecting that. It's dark type, so it's neutral. Double neutral double kick. This thing's doing a shit ton of damage to us though, dude. Okay, we can three shot it. Two more shots to take him out, but this thing's doing a lot of damage. We don't have that many potions left, so I'm a bit worried. Okay, he hazed. Good, 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 good. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for not attacking. Don't flinch. You're fucking joking, dude. One Astonish? One. Okay. He hazed again. Good. One more hit after this should get it done. Oh, no. We got... Yes. Yes, okay. That Murkrow was scaring me a bit. It did a lot of damage. Nani? <laughs> Nani. Tournament is over. Thank goodness. You have four wins, zero losses. You're in one... You're in one place. <laughs> I won 28 grand, and I got a gold medal. What the hell does a gold medal do? Enter another one? Okay, no tournaments at the time. Okay, so it's not something I can keep doing over and over again. It's a one-time thing. So I'm guessing there's like more tournament areas either. There's either more throughout the region, or I can come back here and do another one at a different point in time. So 
But I like that. We got some amazing XP off of it. We were able to get a ground type move for Buddy. And we got 2800 and a gold medal. What the hell does a gold medal do? They got put in our items pockets. Not like, not like it's a key item or anything. We could sell it if we wanted to. Where's that thing at? Right there, gold medal. A reward for winning first place in the tournament. I can just toss it if I wanted to. That's great. Alright. So we're going into a rock normal gym. I don't know if I want to just like... Let's give him an orange berry to hold, I guess. We'll keep Hawkeye with the quick claw. Oh boy, this is nerve-wracking because I don't know if we're ready for the gym at this point. Like, Buddy has mud shot to take out Rock. He has double kick to take out to take on uh, the normal types. Hawkeye has Peck and Leafage but he's weak. I try to put Leafage in the front spot. He's weak to Rock though. That's a problem. So I don't know if I want to use him. Hmm. <sighs> Let's go check on these first trainers in there, just to see what level we should be at at least, too. Because I don't know if we're, like, ready level-wise. Uh, no. No. Did all these people want to fight? Overload and watch a little bit, I was gaining less XP than usual. I guess that's not, that's a soft level cap thing. But once you defeat the gym, the cap goes up, so it's okay. Okay, so it's not like a level, actual level cap. This game uses a soft level cap. So, it's like... Rock against rock, the harder, uh, huh, god no. Okay, so the soft level cap. Basically, it's like a level cap, except once you pass a certain point, you won't just stop gaining experience altogether. You'll just gain less experience than normal. And your Pokemon will still obey you at any level. So it's not like, so you can still go over the level cap, but it'll just take a lot longer to level up at that point. So anyways, let's go ahead and fight these people just to see what level we should be at before taking on this gym. Swimmer Rick has a level 8 Poliwag. I should probably use this time to level up like Snot. Because Snot, also a ground type, he can handle rocks. That's not fair. So that's what I should probably be doing. So we can put him in the first slot and just use him to and try to level him up as much as we can. Okay, buddy, can we wake up? Can we wakey wakey, please? Stop dreaming about them. I was gonna say stop dreaming about the females, but I forgot our Hawkeye is a female, so stop dreaming about the males and wake up. Thank you. Okay, wow, that's great. Watch out, Poliwag. Nice. <laughs> My Poliwag lost? Yes, because it's pass. What'd you expect? Do we want to train up Snot or Big Boy? Big Boy has Steel. I think Steel is good against Rock, and also has Mudsl. I think, I think Big Boy would be better to train up than Snot. So I think, hmm, yeah, let's go Big Boy. Because he's Steel type, so he can also resist normal attacks if need be. Can we fight this thing? I got a, he got a crit. Seven off a of crit. Let's harden. Let's see how much. Of course we flinch. I didn't buy any potions. You know what? Let's just back up out of here. I didn't buy any potions, so I don't have time. I don't have time to be doing this. If we, don't, if we didn't buy any potions. We got a good amount of cash from the uh, the tournament, so we should go buy potions after we fight this lady. Good amount of cash. I don't know if I want to go buy the cheaper ones. The Pokies are potions or regular? I think we'll buy both. Pika P. Let's go to Big Boy and we'll switch back into Buddy since he can resist electric. Yeah, try Thundershock in this. I knew you were going to try that. Hit him with the mud shot. No, my attack. I need that. What am I without my attack? Look at that, I could have one-shotted him. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Let's just double kick so we don't miss accidentally. Good shit. 
Level 6 for big boy. And 14 for buddy. He's trying to learn bulk up. I will take that, dude. Him learning stuff like double kick and bulk up makes me think he's going to evolve into a ground fighting type. Is it just me that's getting that feeling? Because he's learning like... He's not just learning like one random fighting attack. He's learning double kick and bulk up. So it's got me thinking that he might become ground fighting, which would be pretty interesting. Are there any actual ground fighting types in Pokemon? I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and heal. And buy some potions. Let's also buy some, we'll buy some bizarre, Pokizar potions. Okay, we're going to buy both, but I think we're going to buy more of these. Let's buy four of those. Are the Pokeballs even cheaper here? We have six. We don't really need them. I want to get. I want to focus on getting potions right now so we can heal during this battle. And let's get some regular potions too, just in case we need, like we need to make sure we get 20 health. Two more of these, and let's get two more of the other potions. We'll have an even eight and eight. Even amount of both. And we'll use the one that we see fit. Like if we need to get as much health as possible, we'll use our regular potions. But if it's not that much of an issue, we just wanna get a little bit of health and we'll use these uh pokies our potions. Back to the gym. Let's take on the other two trainers on the right side over here. Fancy a fight. And he has a Plusle. All Pokemon we have seen before. Good buddy. I don't even know what the soft level caps are even at. Like, is the level cap 14 right now? That thing got one shot at that kind of thing. I think it might be, because he only got 32 XP off of that, so I think 14 might be the uh, the level cap right now. So all we've seen are like level 8s. I think 8 was the highest we've seen in this gym. The highest we've seen at the tournament was 11. So as long as our mons are in double digits, I think they should be fine. Like, buddy, he should probably be fine. I don't think the gym leader's trainer will be higher than that. Absolutely. Rog and roll. Uh, big boy, you have mud slap. You can probably take him. Get, the, get that XP all to yourself. Drop his accuracy. Okay. Mud slap's special, though, so I think we're fine. Mud slap's special. Look at this. Look at this. Not even a problem. Look at that. We're good. We're fine. It's not a problem. Alright. Okay. So there we go. That is everybody that we can fight in there. So let's go heal. And I guess we'll take on the gym. I'm a little worried. I don't know if I should train up Aaron a bit, maybe get him to 10 before we take on the gym, but I feel like that's just going to take a long time. I don't know, I feel like we can maybe just sweep it with Buddy. That's what I'm kind of hoping for right now, is we can just sweep the gym with Buddy. He's level 14, he has double kick for the normals, he has mud shot for the rocks. As long as they're not extremely high leveled, I have a good feeling. We're not weak to rock, we're not weak to normal. How long have we been recording? Actually, we've been recording for 24 minutes. So I'm gonna save it here. I might go train Aaron up to 10, just in case. I might not, I don't know. If it, take, if it takes too long, then I might just not do that. But I'm gonna end this here anyways. Thanks for watching. Next episode, we'll go ahead and take on the gym leader. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Connors. I'll see you next time with some more Pokemon Empyrean. Thanks for watching again, and uh, yeah, peace out.